Welcome everybody to Deb's Thing. This is Debbie and I am doing a tutorial on the bracelet I named Sierra Strong. It was inspired and created for the little girl um, back in South Carolina, uh, Sierra Long, who has an inoperable brain tumor and see this is June 12th and last week everybody's been posting um, her story and we've all been getting together and doing things on her behalf and so I sat down as and as with a few other designs that I felt inspired to make an original design for this one came fairly um, easily and I actually when I post on Instagram I um, did an image of this side only because it photographs better. This side in person actually looks cuter, but I don't know, it just wasn't, it just wasn't working um, photography wise. Well, anyhow, I sent the original, the one that was pink, white, and blue, her favorite colors. I sent that off to her and she should be getting it tomorrow. This one I did, I used the 300 count um, Sweets Purple. And for that, I'm going to be using this. It's a, it's a, um, it looks like a sweets, but it's it's a, like a glitter jelly or something. But it's it's bigger, heavier duty. Um, Christy from Chidaro Ling sent me these, and I haven't been able to find them on RainbowLoom.com, but they're very pretty. Actually, this I should show you this. This is a little sample piece. I just really liked how it looked. So anyhow, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. And my alarm's going off on my phone, but I think I will ignore it. So let's go back. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm usually, you know, scatterbrained anyways. But I'm sitting on a hard chair, a folding chair. And usually I'm sitting like on a sofa, so I'm sitting lower and right... I'm up so high, I'm like looking straight into my viewfinder of my camera. And it's usually way over my short little head. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm trying to not be distracted. So color A is the border and I'm using the metallic white for that. Color B is the ones that make the little heart shape. And of course that's that glitter pink here. Color C. I've been wanting to use this color. I. You know, I see it on other people's braces, like, what color is that? It looks so cool. And it's like one of these chocolate browns. I'm using the 600 count. It's brown on the inside and gold on the outside. Because I think it reflects so cool on, the, on camera. And then for the color D, I'm using the maroon opaque. Because I think it's a nice backdrop for the, the pale pink. Um, none of the other colors seem to work as it, like... You know, you don't really see it, but you do. And I think it sets off the pale pink well. So let's get going. In case Sierra wanted to, um, you know, start making bracelets, I definitely want to keep it three bars wide so that, um, you know, anybody with just one loom can also make it. So here we go. As always, I just put one band here to use later for my um, the connection band and then right now we are just placing one each of the A colored bands and now we're going to go up the loom doing this placing color B like this and when you do it this way when you loop it back it makes that beautiful little heart shape on one side, it's kind of like the stretched out heart, and on this side, it's more like a little poofy heart. A little chunky, cute, poofy heart. <laughs> and then you will be going out with, with the whatever color, chocolate, brown, Persian, 600 count. <laughs> I forget. I've got so many colors now, I'm losing track. 
I know I should have it in my notes, but, you know, this old brain can just think of so many thoughts at once, and then I forget half of them and think three more, and there you have it. <laughs> That's me. Not the me I used to be, but the me I am now, so whatever. At least I can still do some things. So pretty much, that's what I'm going to do all the way up. Ending, you're going to end with, with, I keep wanting to say with, but it's going to be tongue not working, with the ones going up like that. And, um, for those of you who have asked, like Natasha at tied knots and I try to do this look at this we still have these these are just like the my puppy dog's teeth just kind of scraping up against my wrist you can tell I'm more left-handed than right <laughs> so anyhow this is full two lengths two looms length and it's this one is pretty big I mean you know it's it's hard to see but oh. You know, I do have a very small wrist, not a tiny wrist, but a small wrist. God, it looks terrible between my rash that's been here since March 2014. I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to the bands, but has it stopped me? No. Anyways, it's pretty big. I wear like a six and a quarter inch bracelet, and those are plenty big on me. So, and there's my old wrinkly. See, that's what happens when you get older. Ah! So there's plenty, I think there's plenty of room, even for, you know, an 8-inch wrist. Um, you might have to do maybe one little extension band if, if it's a little tight. But this one is, it doesn't, you know, it does pretty good. So anyhow, not really much more to show you for this little section. I'm going to just continue doing this, and I will be back to show you the next step. Here is my loom, and this is what it looks like as far as um, you need to take these. And I should also note, and I was going to write this down before I turned the camera back on, darn it. Um, for the bands that go like, like this, uh, the heart bands, um, I would advise using the thickest, the thickest of your bands. Because, um, especially on this side, they just pop out much, you know, they, they're really nice the way they pop out when you use the thicker or like jelly bands. The opaque, they're going to lie a little flat or lie or lay, lay a little flatter. So just a little heads up. Um, I'm not going to take the time to write it here. I'm going to stick a little post-it on my card. So that oh why do I that post it there I need to make a notation on my tutorial to give you a heads up before you've laid out all your bands so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our a colored bands and I I put these underneath here but that's just so it looks like you know the band goes all the way around even though it actually goes under. So you're just going to go all the way up both sides. You're going to place these on top. Try not to twist them. So that's just going to continue on both sides. Like this. And push them down a little bit because you'll need the room, of course, when you're loom, looming them back. And, oops, sorry, I was already off camera. I'm really close in here. So let's see. Yeah. I got little hands in. It's about my size of my workspace. You will just be taking them all the way up here, and then you can take the last one from here to here. And then when you come up here, you'll take the last one from here to here. Yeah. My fingers look, you can see it on the screen. They're discoloring. I haven't touched the bands in a while. 
and now that I'm working with them again I can see so I'm pretty sure my allergy with this thing on my hands is from the bands but what can I do? Stop blooming? Ah! Not a new life I'd have to get rashes in undescribable places for me to stop blooming. Oh, so anyhow I will be back after I do this and then show you how to place the last set of bands. If you want at this time you can place your cap band here because the placing of the D colored band um, will not interfere, interfere with that. So now I'm taking my maroon bands and we're going to be making X's all the way up the loom just like this. I'm probably, you know, continuing the same, you know, way doing one this way. Ooh, that is the wrong band. It jumped container. It jumped from its little section, its little compartment into my maroon bands. So that's all there is to to this sequence. Very simple. Alrighty. I'll be back to show you the looming sequence. Now that all the decolored bands are placed and have the cap on the final pin, time to turn around and start looming. I keep saying looping back because it's kind of like you're you're looping the bands together but I think the correct term is looming, right? It's a loom so we're looming. But anyhow, I will start you with the setup sequence which will be the first bands and then I'll show you the four step pattern that you'll do all the way up. So we're going to take these first two A colored bands out and then I'm going to do one of my trademark moves. It's not mine but it's a, I think I kind of trademarked it by making it popular but I did find um, a very early Rainbow Loom tutorial that actually used, um, I think it was their zipper design, their zipper bracelet where instead of taking, I'm going to be taking, actually I'm going to start with this side because that's how I've been doing it. Instead of taking this back to the home pin, you take it to a non-home pin. And a lot of people are crediting me with this stitch, but it is not mine. But I, it's, you know, I use it a lot. So I'm going to do it on that side. Then I'm going to do it on this side. See, I'm bringing it way up here. So it's stretch, you know, you definitely oh, make a note, stretchy bands. Hold on again. I mean, if you're using opaque, that's fine. Just You just don't want to use really stiff bands, stretching them that, you know, across three pins diagonally, and then you're bringing it way up here. So you definitely want to make sure it's something that doesn't break, but you know if it does, they're right on top, so they're pretty easy to um, replace if one does snap. So the next step is bringing both of your A-colored bands forward. Now we're going to reach under, grab the B, no, C, C color. And then the final step, which is a little more difficult, and you can always go to the side. You're going to want to grab, you're going to be grabbing this one inside here. And occasionally I mess this up. Grab the wrong one. But this you're just going to bring to your, to its home pin. And then that one's easy because it's the only one left. 
Okay, so that was the setup sequence. Now this is what you're going to do all the way up the loom. Step one, we'll be taking the D bands up to this next pin. So it's giving it a good workout. Stretching those bands. And then reach down and grab the border band, the A colored band, on either side. And then reaching inside, grabbing band color C on both sides. Oops. Don't want to get those twisted. You want those to lay nice and flat because the dual colored, any dual colored band really, really shows up terribly when you twist it. Not so much with these solid colored bands. I mean, you can see it, but it's not so in your face. And then finally, going in here, grabbing, for me, it's always, you know, the, this going this way, the one on top. And then this one. I think one of the benefits of being high up like this, I, I don't really, I can't really get my head into the camera range. I'd have to bend off a low to do that. Okay, let me show you a couple more times. Because I definitely did that. You see my curly slash frizzy hair in the screen on the screen every once in a while. But I don't think I can do that anymore. So we're taking the decolored bands. Bringing them way up to the next center pin, then reaching down and grabbing the border band, and just kind of give it a little. <sighs> I don't like it. You know what? I found that when they twist, if you just kind of take it out here, over here, and just wiggle it around. Like that, you will get the twist out of it. I'll show it over here. Just kind of bring it down, let it relax, and that often takes any twisting out of the band. Now, where am I? I don't know why, but I have so much trouble keeping track of what I need. Oh, I'm so easily confused. <laughs> it's a terrible plight, I tell you. Bring this band, and as you saw, I kind of, it's, when you use thicker, these stickier bands, pulling these out past them can be a little strenuous and I don't like to overstretch the band so see how it's a little tight right here I'm just using my finger and kind of help ah, help it out I usually don't lose it <laughs> there you go okay and then finally the fourth step is grabbing those B colored bands which are those glitter pale pinks and bringing them out to their home pins. Okay, I'll do this a couple more times, but it's a f very simple four-step sequence. So we're going to, right on top here is this D band, D colored band, bring it way up here, do the same on this side, Then you take the border bands, the A colored bands, which is step number two. And as I said, you can just kind of let it relax here and then bring it up. And that often takes any um, twisting out of the band. 
And then we're going to reach under here. Grab our C colored bands. I don't know what it was, but when I was trying to make this bracelet, I had to like start part of it like over like three times because I would forget to reach under and grab these B colored bands, which were the the purple sweets here. It was just infuriating. I know, I saw it infuriating. It was infuriating! <laughs> because, you know, I'd have to waste, you know, a whole section of, segment of bands because there was, you know, unlooped bands. And I just, I don't know. I don't know if it was because I was you know being interrupted and I had to stop and come back and then I lost my you know sequence so you know as you've seen me one two three four one two three four I mean there was the one was it the my cruciate that everyone loves so much it was like a 10 step sequence and I confused some people by counting it out but holy cow that one was 10 step sequence, I believe, and I really had to keep track of what I was doing on that one. But this one's not so hard, but I was actually having trouble keeping track of four simple steps. <laughs> so here we go again. One. And then one on this side. on each side come on and then step three And then finally, this is the one band that's a little difficult. Step four. <laughs> Just want to grab that top one. And there you have it. Let's see. French. Un, deux, trois, quatre. In Spanish. Unos, dos, tres, cuatro. Yeah, my little Spanish-speaking granddaughter. You know, she's seven now. She's better start teaching her grandma Spanish. <laughs> I've been here for Southern California, an hour north of the border of Mexico since 1983. So you do the math, because my simple math calculation skills have gone out the window with this dang illness. So, I lose my train of thought, too. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time, just to be safe. Step one. I <laughs> uh, know. Graham's brain is spent. <laughs> oh, the miseries of life, of living. Okay, step two. Step three, and she's, she can she do it without interrupting? <laughs> Oops. Step three, where are you? And then step four. You know who reminds me of me when I was younger and healthier is Abby at Expert Looms. The way it's you know, her speed and dexterity and just her because she's young and 16 and her brain's going that's how my brain used to go 
now my brain is going like this. All right, I am going to go off camera with my very slow brain and my spastic thought patterns and finish doing this. Isn't that pretty? I just love when all the bands are um, looped, you know, back. It just they make such a pretty, pretty patterns. I know I've said this before, but pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> All right, It'll take a while to do this. It's not a wide band, but you know, not a wide um, bracelet. But there's a few bands to do. Oh, I'm okay, getting so sleepy. All right, see you in a sec. Well, I am loving this color scheme. The more I look at it, the more I'm falling in love with it. I love it, love it, love it. So, anyways. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but yeah, you can see I took most of it off the loom instead of having you, you guys have to watch me because I am so slow <laughs> and I'm weak. My blood sugar so low and my dear precious husband's. What time is it? Oh, my TV's not in here. I don't know what time it is. Um, It's around midnight and he's making me some meat to eat. Oh, I love him so much. My blood sugar. I'm trying not to shake here. Okay, so I did my last sequence. Got the, you know, step four, bringing those B color bands out. So the last thing to do is to loom, loop up these last two bands. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm trying to lose weight, so I pretty much don't eat all day long. And then I have a meal at night and a little sugar snack, and then I'm sleeping. So yeah, no food all day. Shaky, shaky. <laughs> so I just told them, let me finish this up. You make my meat, and then I'll eat. And then about 10, 15 minutes from now. Debbie will be happy again. Her, her blood sugar will be happy because Debbie's happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just hungry. Okay, so I'm finishing this up. And zippity doo, I'm going to finish taking this off. And then we'll get to look at this beauty. Oh, I'm just loving it. I mean, it's it's a little similar to my Violet, Violet, Violet bracelet, although I think that was five bars wide. And it reminds me a little bit of my oh, oh, oh no 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 oh my gosh oh my gosh Is that it? Oh I'm having a heart attack. Sorry if I went blurry there, but yeah, it was an emergency situation, I'm telling you. Almost lost that band. Look at this, isn't she pretty? Now as with all designs, you know, the little fiddling around with the bands like this. This little white one right here kind of got stuck inside there. So just play around, even it out. So this is this is the underside. Like, it was on the loom like this. And this is the side. I as I said, I photographed and used for the introduction of it. Um for Sarah Sierra Strong. Because it it just photographs better. I think this side is just as cute. I'm loving it, loving it. It just looks so pretty. I wish I could get it closer in. Let me see. I do have, I wonder if it helps. This is my, it doesn't. It's my macro setting, but I don't think it really helps very much. So anyhow, there she is. If you like my designs, feel free to subscribe. Oh, by the way, I hit 4,000 today. I was stuck at 39 something for quite a while. It kind of like sped up to 3,000 something follow um, subscribers. And it just kind of sat there for months and months. So they got up to 3,900 something and sat and sat and sat. But yes, 4,000. Yay. And of course, um, check me out at Deb's Thing on Instagram. And I, I broke the 4,100. Mark, I think it was. Yeah, I was stuck at like 4,088, 4,000, 
95, kept kind of going back and forth in the 80s and the 90s, but now I'm I'm moving on up. Yay! Thank you, everybody. So, you know, check me out on Instagram, too. And thank you so very much for watching. I'm hungry. Bye.